Construction continues here in Grand County, Colorado, outside the town of Winter Park, where earth movers are making way for new development. But warning signs of a dangerous situation are being ignored. Countless dead trees surround older homes in the neighborhood, trees that have suffered from years of drought and can no longer protect themselves from the forest's invisible killer, the mountain pine beetle. The infested forest provides an ominous backdrop to these new condominiums. Firefighters are well aware of the hazard. The worst case scenario is a, a big red tree and lots of them together and that's what we're seeing. And those are very, very highly flammable and that's a really dangerous situation and it's hard to control. According to the U.S. Forest Service, 750,000 acres have been affected in northern Colorado and southern Wyoming. The red-tinged hillsides around Winter Park Resort show the extent of the damage here. The pine beetle weakens the trees by feeding on the living tissue beneath the bark. By stripping it away, you can see the white tunnels where the beetles traveled. However, it's a bluish fungus the beetles carry that finishes them off. So it kills the trees so that more beetles can come in. They can't def the tree can't defend itself because it's dying. So it creates a big party in the tree. The U.S. Forest Service is actively pursuing a variety of solutions. I'm standing here in the Arapaho National Forest Experimental Logging Project, where right now it's quiet. But during the week, we'd be hearing chainsaws and that tractor behind me removing the dead trees in this area. A statewide cooperative effort to tackle the problem has forestry and fire organizations working to thin out the forest. It helps to slow the spread of the pine beetles and makes it harder for fires to move through the trees. But Boulder should prepare for the worst. The potential is, is that all of the front range will be affected. No one state has enough resources to fight uh, a fire or the level of fires that California has had. And no one wants to see Coloradans face a catastrophic fire like those in California last month. Eric Berenson, News Team Boulder.